got it. Well, thank you very much. I have to say I'm awfully honored. Uh, I want to start out by saying the a great comedian, uh, George Burns, once said, the best sermon he ever saw had a great beginning, a great finish, and very little preaching in between. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll try to keep it short, but I, I really want to talk about three things. But before I do that, I, I have to say I'm awfully humbled by the RMAC recognizing me and giving me this honor. It's, it's a great honor. Uh, a lot of time has gone by in my life, and um, you know, to be remembered like this is just a real special treat for me. Um, I also want to talk about a few things in my life that were very important to me and that shaped my life and um, helped me really garnish a love for sports and especially football. And my dad is one of those people. He was, he's sitting with three people. I want to mention one thing about um, the people sitting there, but my dad kicked off the very first football for the first game the Air Force Academy played. He was a first class at Air Academy and, and kicked the ball off there. And um, you know, I think that's kind of where my love for football started. I want to mention another thing about uh, the people at that, that table sitting with me and some great people from the Air Academy, Max Miller, and then Brock Strom. I don't know if anybody knows it, but Brock was a was the very first All-American from Air Academy and uh, is in the NCAA College Hall of Fame. So I want to, again, recognize Brock for that, too. And just <laughs> so it's, it's just an honor to have him sitting there with us tonight. And so thank you very much for coming. Um, I want to just talk about three things. And, uh, and I'll tell you what those three things are, and then I'll explain what they are. The first one is um, I want to talk about leadership, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about how the game has changed, how football's changed over the years, certainly since I played. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is a shoelace. And you'll probably wonder what that has to do with this, but you'll, you'll see when I'm done. The first thing, you know, that um, it shaped my life was just great leaders and great coaches. I had, I was really fortunate to play for Emerson Wilson, Tim Rose, um, Kent Smith in basketball, and they always taught me that you just work hard. That's the only way to be successful. And then I went to Western State and played for a really just great organization. And, and you don't have a good football team without having a great school. And we had a great president, President Mellon, um, J.W. Campbell, who was our athletic director, who is, the ward is named after for a lot of the SIDs, and um, Dwayne Vandenbush, Duke Iverson, just some great, great people at Western State. And that's the reason why I wanted to go there, is I, I played against him in the first game as a freshman at, uh, at, at uh, Southern, uh, Southern Colorado, and I just, saw the championship of that team and I wanted to play with them. I wanted the challenge to be able to play with a great team like that. The second thing is, is I'm going I'm to do something a little out of character that you probably don't see very often, but I was thinking that after following the real tall guy, <laughs> I um, was thinking about how many years ago it's been since I played. And, you know, I was 19 when I went to Western State, so I, I think I, I've tripled my age since then, and I, I barely think about football anymore. It's just one of those things kind of that you don't, you don't think of often. And, uh, you know, my family's become more important. Is anybody getting hot in here? Because I'm kind of getting hot in here. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I, like I said, I, I don't think about football very much anymore. <laughs> but I... I uh, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of thought that. <laughs> so I can wear the jersey one more time. <laughs> I, I want you to all do something. This is going to be out of character, but I want you to stand up. Okay, everybody, stand up. I'm the last. I think I'm the last guy to talk. Yes. Second to the last. Okay. Well, anyways. When I first went to Western State, I was a freshman. I was 19 years old, and I got out. I got on, onto the field, and I, 
I went into the huddle and I called a play, and of course I'm a freshman, right? So we had, we had a good team. We had some big guys, and the coach put me in. I was, I think, fifth on the on the list, you know, the, 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 what they call it, the, the chart list. You know, I was fifth, fifth string quarterback. And I had to make, make myself kind of be visible and be seen and everybody get, you know, to get to know who I was. So I, I called the play in the huddle and the team went out to the ball and I said, ready, break. And, you know, it's kind of like, oh, ready, break. And I said, get back here. I said, get back here right now. I said, when I say break, we're going to break. We're going to break together, and when we go to the line, we're going to kick some butt. I said, ready, break. Okay, everybody, ready, break. Good. <laughs> all right, you can all sit down. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to bring that up because to me that is one of those things that I think that helped the team, helped me, is be a leader. I tried to be the best one I could be. I tried to set an example for my players because more important to me than my individual um, statistics, you know, or, or leading the nation in offense, things like that, was the team statistics. We had a great team. We had won seven championships by the time I was a senior. And when I was a junior, we had we uh, we led the nation in total offense, and it, we averaged 45 points a game. And that's with a running team. That's running the ball, triple option, and the Houston Veer. And um, you know, if you look at the way football is played today, and this is part of where the game has changed, quarterbacks get too much credit, just like I did. And I could have never got to where I got without playing with the great players that I played with. And uh, <laughs> so I, I want to thank them for this. The last thing has to do with this. <laughs> and uh, I told myself I wouldn't get choked up. <laughs> but when I showed up at Western as again as a freshman, um, the, the, the uh, training manager, and he's a great guy, and, but when I first showed up, you know, I was five foot 10, 100 and nothing in weight. And um, I said, look, I, I play quarterback. Can I get a quarterback number? And he threw me a jersey, and it was like 37. I said, I said that's not a quarterback number. Throw me another. Throw me another jersey. You know, I want another jersey. I said, don't you have 11 or 12 or 10? And he said, oh, let me go see what we got. He came back, and he took another number. It was like 68 or 69, and he threw it right at my face. And I was like surprised. I said, what's this guy doing? And if there hadn't been a half door there, I would have probably strangled him. And I was yelling at him, and the whole, the whole team was going, what's going on? Well, anyways, the next day I broke my shoelace. And I went up to him and I said, can I get a shoelace? I broke my shoelace. And he hands me a box of broken shoelaces. <laughs> One like this. And I thought about my whole life. I've had struggles, I've had hardships, but I'm successful today because when I got a, a shoelace that was broken, I just tied it in a knot and I worked hard. That's the only way to make it in life. And I want my kids to know that, that success comes from just sticking with it. And Again, I want to tell you, thank you very much. I'm sorry to get emotional, but I, I really appreciate this honor. Thank you.